AJ and I'm here to talk to you about Dixie Bell's White Lightning. Dixie Bell's White Lightning is a pre-paint prep cleaner. Now, to start off any project, your success is gonna be based on how well you clean your piece. So, this is the best option. Now, this comes in a granule form, so you can mix it any way you want, whether it be in a gallon bucket, putting two heaping tablespoons in a bucket and mixing it, or you can pre-mix it into individual bottles. Now, the great thing about this is it is in a granule form. This is gonna last you a long time. Now, you can put this into 32 ounce bottles like this. You can make up to 16 of these bottles using this little container. It's a granule form, and it's great for deglossing and cleaning your pieces before you paint. This is not a general cleaner. This is a pre-paint prep, or you clean with this before you're going to be doing work on a piece of furniture or a project. So this is great stuff. Let me show you how it works. Now, first of all, if you're, if you're going to be mixing it in a bucket, you just do two uh, tablespoons of the granules into a gallon bucket of hot water. That is how you do it if you do it in a bucket. Now, for me, I always like to put it in a spray bottle so it's ready to go when I need it. I put warm water or hot water in here. Now, if you don't have a funnel, like I like to use a funnel because you don't want to spill the granules all over. If you don't have one, or if you don't want to use one because you don't want to use anything that's coming from your kitchen because this is a cleaner. So you can take the corner of a sandwich bag, you can cut off the corner of a sandwich bag, that creates a funnel for you. So on this bottle here, I have my warm water already in there, okay? I can just put that hole down in my bottle and cre it creates a funnel for me. See how I did that? So now my hole is all ready to go and this is gonna catch any of the granules that I might spill. And I'm gonna take my granule, which is the white lightning. I have a, this is a, this is a teaspoon, one teaspoon. I have this set out in my garage. I do not put this back in the kitchen unless I'm going to clean it really well because I do not want this mixed with food. So I am going to scoop out some granules. Okay, you can make it as strong as you need to. Now with these 32 ounce bottles, I normally just put one teaspoon in there. But if you want to make it a little bit stronger, you can put two in there. So I put my granules in there. You don't need a lot. My little funnel caught all of the excess that spilled off the edge. How easy is that? Okay, put my lid back on here, my warm water in it, and I label my bottle White Lightning so that I know I'm not gonna use this on anything else other than my pre-paint prep pieces. Shake it up. Now let me show you how to clean. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna make sure you have is some type of like scotch right pad. I like to use any type of scrubby pad. That's really gonna get into your furniture piece or your project and get that grime, all that buildup from years and years and years of being in storage, in a barn, at an estate sale. Um, this, using a scrubby pad is going to break that up. So I spray my cleaner on my piece. I scrub it with my scrubby pad, get it nice and clean. I wipe it off with a paper towel. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna rinse it. It's very important to rinse your pieces because you don't wanna leave any cleaning residue left behind. Uh, that cleaning residue, um, if you paint over it, your paint will adhere to the residue and not necessarily to your piece. So it's important to clean really well, then come back and rinse really well, and then you're ready to go. Okay, and then you might notice when you're cleaning a piece, if when you're rinsing, your paper towel keeps coming out orange and you feel like you're not getting the piece clean, just know that might mean that your piece is a bleeder and then you're gonna wanna use one of our stain blocking primers, the Boss in clear, gray, or white. Uh, so you can really tell during that prep phase of cleaning whether your piece is gonna be a bleeder. One other thing to remember when using a pre-paint prep cleaner like White Lightning is that it also acts as a deglosser. Okay, now look at this piece right here. You can see this line. This has been cleaned with white lightning. This has not. See how the white lightning acts as a deglosser? That line is right there. It acts as a deglosser. That's another great thing about white lightning. It actually helps degloss your piece, which is also gonna give you a better finish in the long run when doing your furniture. So I can't say enough about the white lightning. It's very easy to use. Keep it out in your garage. I pre-mix mine in 16 ounce bottles and I label it white lightning so I know what's in there. I do not use this for general cleaning. This is for pre-paint prep. It's good stuff. So it comes in a granule so it's easy to just 
go to this every time you need, need to do a refill. You're not throwing a bunch of bottles in the landfill. You, you're only storing one small container. A little goes a long way. This will last you a long time. It's a great money saver. So there you go. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out to Dixie Bell and head to your local retailer. Make sure that when you're buying your paints and you're getting started on your project, that you start with white lightning. Prep is key. Painting a clean piece is what's going to give you the success and the look that you're looking for that's going to last over the years. Well, there you have it. Dixie Bell's white lightning. It's something that's a must for everyone's toolbox to have for doing your projects and prepping properly. There you go. Absolutely love this stuff.